good morning again. Um, my name is Trpimir Kvesic. I'm coming from InSky Solutions. And I'm glad to be here and very proud to introduce you uh, these two gentlemen over there, which will share their experience how to focus on our guests. And we will do that from uh, two different perspectives. One is uh, actually customer feedback after the successful implementation in uh, one of the biggest South uh, Eastern uh, uh, hot, uh, Europe, European hotels. And another one is from consultant uh, point of view where you will see the questions that will arise in this crossfire. So we are all aware that we are uh, actually in a new age of tourism, of modern tourists, and we are asking ourselves all the time how to uh, combine uh, organization, processes, and technology to be more customer or guest oriented. Uh, so some uh, hypes like Omnichannel yesterday, uh, data science today, artificial uh, intelligence tomorrow, uh, we are asking ourselves, are there important things or only hypes? Uh, are they helping us to, making, uh, to make information, information on uh, top of that that will help us to make good decisions? Uh, so we just want to combine sales, marketing and operations uh, to focus on our most valuable asset and that's our guests. So, uh, Actually, you will, you will hear now in these 30 minutes what is the uh, strategy behind and how to use innovative solutions like uh, Tourism in Sky, a uh, globally awarded solution that uh, Valamar uh, Riviera implemented. So I don't want to steal any of your time, uh, any of your time and uh, any of your questions and answers. So please uh, welcome uh, Mr. Jerko Chus from Valamar Riviera and Dario Cetesic from InSky Solutions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Terpimir, for this introduction. You uh, have to be very loud. Okay. Good day to you all. Once more from my side, I'm Dario from InSky Solutions. I'm a business development manager, and uh, I will leave Mr. Chus to introduce himself. So please, Jerko, give us some introduction to you and your company as well. So, uh, Hello, my name is Jerko, uh, came from Croatia. Uh, so I'm uh, working in hospitality industry for the last 10 years uh, on different IT projects. And uh, mostly of them uh, in sales and marketing department, like imp implementing uh, websites, uh, CRMs, then uh, working on the reservation systems and so on. Uh, so, uh, working in uh, Valmar Riviera, uh, which is a leading company in Croatia, it operates uh, hotels, hotels resorts and camps, uh, camping resorts uh, along the Adriatic coast uh, in the destinations like uh, Istria, island of Kirk, island of Rab, uh, Makarska and the famous destination Dubrovnik. Uh, so, uh, Valmar is a big investor in uh, tourism uh, fifth, uh, with uh, 500 uh, invests uh, in his de uh, development and uh, improving of its portfolio. So, uh, also 20% uh, of categorized uh, accommodation in Croatia uh, is owned by Valamar and uh, Valamar can uh, welcome about uh, 6,000 uh, guests uh, uh, daily uh, in its uh, hotels and uh, campsites. So uh, Valamar uh, uh, focused on investments as uh, key grew drivers for its portfolio. Okay. After this introduction, can you tell me, please, uh, you said that you have more than 6,000 guests per year. And what insights do you have about your guests? And uh, can you tell us something about that a little bit more? So, uh, we know many things about the, uh, our guests. 
so the most uh, important are that uh, they are coming for nearby destinations like uh, Austria, Italy and uh, Germany. Uh, then uh, we know uh, that uh, they are, uh, most of them are families with children coming into uh, Croatian coast uh, uh, to have swimming uh, on the, the beautiful sea. Uh, then uh, we also know that uh, uh, our guests are, uh, uh, are uh, uh, they, they are active guests. Uh, they want to, uh, they coming here uh, in Croatia to have uh, diving, to to biking, and uh, to uh, running through the beautiful nature of Croatia. Uh, also, uh, we know that uh, they are mostly coming uh, in uh, from the June till September because uh, they are the. Then, hello, hello, hello. Then uh, are the uh, summer days and uh, the school vacations. Uh, for the families who are coming. And uh, uh, because of, uh, the, the guests are from nearby countries, they are 80% uh, of the guests coming by uh, drive or similar vehicle, uh, and 20% uh, coming by air traffic. Okay, uh, it appears that you know a lot about your guests, so tell me please, how did you collect such data? What tools and technology do you use? And have you used? So, tell us something about about that a little bit more. Uh, well, uh, we are trying to get more information about our guests. So we are using uh, many available tools. Uh, many of them are digital. So we are using uh, websites, mobile applications, then uh, online questionnaires, uh, uh, front desks. Uh, social networks uh, and uh, loyalty programs. Also, for the uh, customers who are not so digital oriented, uh, we are uh, uh, using uh, some offline questionnaires to getting the data from them. Okay. How important was to overlap the gap between your customer needs and your offer, and how do you prioritize their satisfaction? Or, uh, in other words, do you think that giving guests what they want and when they want is the right way to go and can transform uh, market followers into leaders? Yes, so uh, we are collecting the data from our guests uh, in one central database yeah. and this is a more uh, important thing uh, of the process uh, because we can manage all the data in one database. Also. Uh, uh, we are processing the data, creating uh, different guest profiles based on their preferences and uh, behaviors. Uh, so uh, with the data that we processed, we can uh, uh, use it for engage our guests uh, and uh, boost their uh, experience. Uh, we are using uh, some applications like uh, loyalty programs uh, and uh, through the loyalty program uh, our guests can uh, check their active reservations, uh, their history stays uh, and reservations. They can check their uh, points available for consuming uh, our, uh, our services, also for uh, making new reservations. Uh, also we are using a mobile uh, application. Uh, which is very useful for our guests because uh, during their stay, uh, stays uh, at our uh, hotels uh, they can uh, also manage uh, their loyalty programs. They can uh, use uh, services like uh, ordering the food and drinks uh, into their rooms. Uh, they can uh, also uh, uh, order some uh, clean service uh, room and uh, so on. Also, uh, important thing is because uh, we can uh, push the notifications through the application to them and uh, to 
help them how to enjoy during their stay. stay in our uh, hotels. Okay, it seems that you use the technology a lot in your uh, business. So, please tell me, how did you manage to integrate all communications, life cycle, uh, integration channels, and marketing around your guests? And how do you use it further? So, I will give you one example. Uh, I will give you one example uh, from our company. Uh, so, uh, when our customers uh, made a reservation, uh, the confirmation they uh, will uh, the confirmation letter is uh, sent to their ma email, and uh, there are uh, useful information about the reservations, uh, what basic information and the uh, total cost of the re reservation, but also uh, we are sending them the information that they, that they can uh, uh, they can uh, re register through our loyalty program they, they, they can uh, download our mobile applications and uh, also we are sending them useful information like uh, uh, like this uh, like uh, this or how I can say uh, the station like the event, uh, what the events will be in the okay. destination during their, st their stairs, stays. Uh, so, uh, but, uh, uh, after that, uh, three day, a few days before arrival, uh, we are sending them a pre-stay letter. And uh, on pre-stay letter, they are getting uh, the new useful information, like how to come to our hotel, uh, and uh, other uh, marketing message. Um, during their stay, uh, stays, uh, they, uh, the, the, there is a mobile app available to, to them, and uh, also we are using uh, all the information that we are uh, know about them to contact them through the different omni channels. Uh, like uh, SMS, uh, phone numbers, uh, then uh, uh, email, and uh, through the mobile app. Uh, the next uh, step is uh, to uh, after the checkout, then uh, we send them uh, the post stay letter, and uh, with the message "Thank you for coming uh, for visiting us," and also we are sending them the offers uh, that can be uh, interesting for them for the next day. Also, uh, we are giving them the information that they can use some discounts. Okay, so you are you're engaging your custom, your guests very much. Tell me, please, uh, how important was for you to find a solution that is giving your innovative organization, uh, which is able to run centrally? Uh, all communication channels, management to the whole processes and tracking the guests through customer experience or so to say CRM. So please uh, describe how this technology is used or served. Yes. So I told earlier that uh, the most important thing was to have one central database, uh, CRM system. So uh, through the C uh, CRM system we are managing uh, with the guest uh, profiles uh, and creating marketing lists. So, uh, based, based on the information, uh, we can uh, uh, pr create more personalized com communication with our guests, which is, which is uh, very important for them. So, uh, for one example, uh, before we didn't uh, integrated uh, integrated CRM uh, with our co contact center. Uh, we uh, didn't know anything about our guests, and uh, our agents who uh, getting the request from the customers uh, wasn't be able to uh, get use uh, to have useful information about the guest about their uh, informa uh, basic information like uh, street uh, like street uh, like street like uh, the personal information and also uh, they didn't know if they are returned guests or uh, something 
similar. And, uh, now, with the integration of C CRM module in our uh, reser uh, reservation system, our uh, guest, uh, our agents have a better uh, picture of uh, our customers. And uh, when the requ request coming to our uh, contact center through the email or through the phone call, the uh, request is uh, trying to match the number of email uh, in our contact database. And if uh, recognized, then the contact is connected with the uh, request. Our agent in that moment, uh, when he uh, he will uh, he is handling the uh, request, uh, will have more information about the customer, and uh, he will uh, be able to uh, make a better offer for them, because he uh, have if personal information, he have uh, all, uh, last activities uh, from the customer. Uh, he knows uh, he is uh, the customer last stay uh, and also the offers uh, which uh, send them in the history. Uh, so the, uh, all that was a big uh, improvement in our business uh, in the contact center. And uh, I will note that uh, because of all that uh, improvements, uh, there are few things uh, that are uh, very uh, uh, that, that yes, improve our, uh, our business and uh, that uh, the agent uh, are faster in communication with the uh, customers uh, the agent can uh, prepare better and smarter offers for uh, the customer uh, because of that the customer will be satisfied and uh, he will uh, uh, probably uh, confirm the offer and uh, also because uh, the, uh, the customer uh, the agent is faster in uh, the uh, handling requests uh, he can handle uh, more requests than the, before the, uh, the implementation of model CRM model in uh, our contact center okay and for the end I would just ask uh, you talk about your processes. You told us that you start from the beginning and building, uh, built your base uh, module by module. Uh, how important was for you to find at the beginning solution that could be upgraded? And did you even th th think about uh, some technologies like uh, BI or uh, artificial intelligence uh, workforce management when you start and? How uh, is it possible now for upgrade it and uh, how do you do it? Uh, well, uh, when we implemented uh, our CRM system with central database, we entered into the world of uh, big data. Uh, if you are using uh, the simple repro tools for managing uh, big data databases, it's uh, not uh, you will not be so uh, happy and uh, you will not be able to get all the data you can from the database. So, uh, uh, implementing the, using the powerful tool like uh, BI was the important thing. And uh, uh, with the BI, uh, we are able to manage more and uh, detailed uh, da data uh, from our uh, database. Uh, for one example, uh, before the, uh, after the implementation of uh, BI, uh, our uh, call center managers uh, have a better picture of uh, the production of uh, agents in call center. Uh, they can uh, uh, they can uh, uh, find uh, the data uh, more detailed, and uh, they can uh, they can use the data to up improve the business of uh, agents. Also, they can uh, very easily find uh, some uh, uh, things that are not good 
uh, in the business process uh, and uh, they can uh, uh, they can change it and they can uh, discuss with the agents how to improve uh, their uh, production. Okay, uh, thank you Jerko for coming, for joining us today. Uh, I wish you all the best in your uh, future work. And uh, I don't know if there is any questions from the audience or not. If not, uh, I thank you all for coming. And if you have anything that you want to ask us, you can join also us at our stand, uh, B44. So thank you all. Thank you.